Hello everyone, Pretty Scooter here, and welcome back to more Kirby's Dream Land 3 for the Super Nintendo. Last time we... You know, I, I, I've actually forgotten what we did. What did we do? Tell me, tell me everybody. Tell me beautiful internet people. Uh, now with the Owl and Rock, it's actually kind of lame, because he just... He does basically the same thing you would do with Rock normally. Actually, oh no, he can fly. Very slowly, but he can fly. But once again, I prefer to just run past everything the cheap way. Because, oh. Yeah, you're not helping me. Fine, you're helping me. Now, I think we need a certain... Yes, I know what we need. Oh, crap. We might be doing the stage again. Actually, can I check? I can exit the stage. I do actually need to do this. I'm going to do this really quick. I'm going to try and do World 1 just flawlessly, but we'll come back and do it proper later on. Um, I don't want you, Mr. Mr. Owlman, but I do want to rock. Now, usually with some stages where you need a certain ability to get the secret item, you need to... You will, need, you will also need to fight a secret uh, mini boss. A lot of them are returning mini bosses from Kirby's Dream Land two, uh, one and two. Uh, some of them are from Kirby's Adventure, and yeah, some of them still make appearances in Kirby current Kirby games. Uh, good thing to note: enemies die as soon as they hit water. Also, Boomerang is tempting. But what we need to do is go in this store and grab Senor Nagato. Now Nagato's abilities, which I have not talked about, is he can triple jump. He uh, he moves about as fast as Rick, but he can triple jump. Which is actually a bonus. I kind of like that aspect. Also something with Star that I didn't mention in the last episode. Uh, Star... You can run through blocks when you're using Star, so. <laughs> you pound it! I'm gonna wreck it! Because you know you always need a record Ralph reference somewhere. I mean, come on, seriously. Also, I've noticed something after watching several th videos and shorts and whatnot. Apparently, John C. Riley just like abandoned ship with wreck it Ralph as after the movie was done. Also, I hate fighting this guy using rock. Now, you notice there was a split path there. The bottom path took us to fight this guy. The top path is actually just above us. So, you can see your other path if you take a wrong path to get the secret at any point. Now, we don't need to keep rocks. Oh, it's okay that we lost it. Also, when you kill a mini-boss, you get its ability. Fire Nagato is actually pretty awesome. So that's, well, this is the collect item. We need to collect the monkey. Collect the monkey. Monkey. Throat hurts. Now, I really like using, like I sorry, said, I like using the Gato and Fire in here. Also, water severely hampens any abilities you have. Oh, damn it. I was underwater. Apparently, you cannot suck. Well, you cannot triple jump when you have an item. When you have something in the mouth. The place of mouthiness. Eh, something I should probably mention at some, I probably should have mentioned at some point, but I will probably fail epically at some point in this just because... Uh, excuse me. I haven't played this game for ages. So, it, really at this point it's not a question of how, it's a question of when for me. Or, no, the other way. It's not a question of when, it's a question of how. I will die. <laughs> no mistaking, I will die. Just, you know, how pathetic will be when it happens. Also, I didn't realize you could do suck up items like that until like Kirby Superstar came along, so... Actually, yeah. So, thank you Kirby Superstar for teaching me you can suck up certain items. Of course, in later Kirby games, they they like 
they uh, took that ability away from... Uh, what is it? They took that away from... They took away the ability to suck up 1-ups simply because it was pretty cheap. Okay. So, Nihao. I said words wrong, I bet. Oh, okay, we're good. Now, as you're seeing on the bottom there, because I didn't explain this last time, we have you have a little storm gauge that's filling up slowly. Uh, I think it is once you get 50 stars, you get a 1-up. Also, is this the ability I like? It is. Chugga, 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 chugga. Chugga, chugga, choo, choo, son of bitches. You best move. You best move. Now, this stage, you actually saw the fish on the little title card there at the bottom. So, that's a hint as to what animal buddy we need to bring to the end. I'll give you a hint. It's not our current animal buddy. It is actually the fish. And I need to f remember which... Hi, fish. Now, the fish... The fish is mainly meant for la for uh, under for water segments. Um, do not want to use this? Yeah, we'll use that. It's actually a pretty nifty ability. I like it a lot. Cutter and and this guy basically gives you a a beam of doom. But doing this, you can kind of do what I'm doing right here and just like hold Y and then it's like. I have a shield. No one will get my through my unobtainium armor. And if you like, oh, why just shoots it off? So now I hate this. Now a couple things about the fish is you know he's slow moving on land, but he still jumps pretty high for being on land as a fish. Uh, but when he's underwater, he actually does some pretty awesome things for Kirby. Number one, he lets Kirby. He lets Kirby suck in enemies underwater when normally he would breathe out bubbles. More on that when we get to underwater. Hello! How's it going? You know, I'll just leave him here with you. You look happy. I think Ayn is his name or Kine. Kine! The fish's name is Kine. Damn. I remember. Ah, I remember. Now. I'm going to be talking a bit, uh, okay, we've got plenty of time probably to finish up this world. But what I'm probably going to talk about, uh, towards the end of this world... Shut up. <laughs> I will use household appliances against you. You feel awkward. Oh, I feel awkward now. Also, I need a buddy. Uh, Rick or Chew? I think I want Rick, actually. This is all personal preference right here. I'm getting Rick because I like to use Rick. Rick's the old classic. Everybody should love Rick. Oh, you know, I forgot to... I forgot to... I made a fatal flaw. I never mentioned a control to you guys. Double tap to run. Double tap to run. Ah, now here becomes the finding thing. You must find the shapes for the clown man. Is anybody afraid of clowns? Don't do this mission. Unless you want to see a very, if you unless you're very afraid of happy clowns, don't do this. Don't do this mission anyway. Um, get that one up because I have a feeling that my mortal my mortality will be will be brought into question here. Also, getting through single space gaps is difficult. Anyway, up the tree. I'm really just bashing B at this point, and I'm also just doing this to show you that this is infinite. You don't. You will never have to stop doing this at any point. So you can wall jump for days. Now, Rick, stay there while I grab this. Uh, we have to grab three separate shapes: square, rectangle, triangle. Hey, kids! It's time to play. Collect the shapes. Can you find the deca do dodecahedron? Where's the dodecahedron? I don't know if that was creepy or just a mockery of ch most children's programming. Probably a little both. I know my voice is still cracking from that. Um, wait, why am I doing this? Drop. Sit, Rick. Alright. Now, there's a distinct sound that will play if you're in these collectible, collectathon things. 
let, let you know, you know, you collected enough, which I think is actually going to come up here in a second. Go in the hole, Kirby. That. So that just basically lets you know, hey, you're smart, and you collected everything we needed. You're a hero. I'm a hero. Also, up the tree, Rick. We have no time to waste. Because up the side, this side of the tree, if I remember to actually jump... Oh, I thought it was the one up. Well, that's misinformation for you. Let's see. We want to go around the swamp. Well, actually, we want that. And it's much easier for me to do that without Rick, so... You know, I thought you were really good at timing that. Um, so yeah, we, we did the objectives. Now we just gotta get to the end of the level. Which shouldn't be too difficult if I just remember that I have the ability to... Nom 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 nom! If I have the ability to kill things, but, but just with slight preparation. Uh, we'll take you in Nagato. My favorite helper, I think, is actually the Little Bird. To be honest. Nagato's a close second. Choose third. But yeah, there's a lot of helpers in here. It's not like they're outplaced or anything. It just feels weird using them sometimes because it's just like, you don't fit in this area, yet you're here. Who put you here? Also, is this a... Oh, hey, I like this combo. Surprise, sons of bitches! You just pogo your way down. Actually, something I do know is that if you uh, swallow up these mole things, actually, I can do it really quick. You swallow up these. If you swallow these mole things, you can get you can get half a heart back. So there's some he so there's some healing. Also, oh no, don't go down there unless you have uh, Rick, Rick or the Owl. Actually, I don't want you. Yeah, because Nagato cannot jump high enough. Um, fire. You give me the fire. Shut up. You smell funny, and I wish that you didn't exist. Oh, well, that was unexpected. Ah, uh, these always look like moles to me. I don't know. I don't know. Are they actually? What do you guys think? Are they? Do they look like moles, or do they look like something else? Because, you know, me asking you questions is the best par part of doing this. Let's see. And I think we will have enough time to do the boss. Now, just so, now I'm going to mention something here. And it might not show up on YouTube. I know it shows up when I record stuff. Um, I know it shows up in recording when I render it and after I finish rendering it. Sometimes it doesn't translate well to YouTube. So, there will be flashing. Now, right now, the picture... W okay, actually, that's not as fast as I thought it was. The picture of Wispy is flashing lighter colors. That means you collected all of the heart stars in the, in the level, or in the world. So, you get something extra for defeating Wispy. If it isn't flashing, you know, there'll be something different happening. I'll explain it when that time comes. Wispy! Now, F Wispy is actually decently hard in this one. A lot of bosses are actually... A nice mix, a nice mixture of hard, but you know, what's the what's the Kirby's dreamland without Wispy as boss number one? And phase two. Now Wispy, I like this because Wispy chases you and then he throws rotten th fruit out of his mouth, which you use as ammo to fight back against him if you don't have an animal body or an ability. And you're done. Stupid tree. Lumber checks can cut you down. Now, if you didn't get all the heart stars, this scene right after you defeat Wispy will not appear. You'll basically just finish and go to the end of the level. It go to the little victory dance. Purge the darkness from this land. Purge it, I say. Keep, keep purging. Eventually you'll get rid of it. There you go. Took you long enough. Yeah, so, normally when you beat the boss, the, what happens is the boss dies and the star just pops out of you. But if you have all of the heart stars for the area, you get that extra little cutscene. Important! 
So yes, uh, notice how, now I want to point out something here on the overall map before we end off this video. Um, you notice on the over, on the pop star map here, there's a little nub on this land. It basically means we have not, it basically means that we have not 100%ed that area. This one, we have 100%ed, so several ways to see if you have 100%ed an area. But let's go ahead and go into level two, see the cutscene, and then I will, while it's going on, I will say so long. So everyone, I thank you all for watching uh, Let's Play Kirby's Dreamland 3. Join me next time. We'll be enjoying the serene grace of Ripple Field. Ah, oh, hachu. I'll see you guys next time.